beauties it's savvy that summer and i just wanted to come back and have another video for you guys today so i don't know if i'm going to be posting this actually today um along with the infant update video that i posted or if i'm going to be posting this tomorrow but either way you guys will see it so i just want to go over this oh my god you guys so the sims team dropped an amazing free patch update so normally on tuesdays which I don't know if some of you guys do know some of you guys don't some of you guys are new simmers and some and some of you guys are older simmers and have been simming for a really long time just like me but um on tuesdays the sims team anytime they have patch updates normally do it on tuesdays so fyi there um but anyways they drop this amazing um disabilities inclusivity free patch update so basically um here we have hearing aids we have um CGMs, which is a glucose continuous monitor and also patches too for diabetes, which is actually really close to my heart because I actually work with diabetes patients. It's really close to my heart and <laughs> I'm not going to lie, I totally was a mush and it definitely got me really teary eyed. So I just think this is such an amazing feature for the Sims team to, to add and it's just it's amazing to see how inclusive they're trying to be with this game, which we already know that the Sims team is very inclusive, but just going the extra mile, the extra step to really add this into the game just like really warms my heart. And I hope that people now that do have disabilities such as um, hearing impairment, they are able to, I'm gonna cry. <laughs> um, wow, so such a mush. But anyways, I really hope they're able to finally, um, I really hope that they're able to represent themselves in the game and uh, with diabetes you know people that have um, hearing impairment also too in addition to that um, they also added in a feature with um, top surgery which is really interesting too so you know top surgery just isn't you know just excluded to um, male sims um, also females too that have you know breast reductions or even have to have you know a complete um, removal of their breasts um, so you know not it's not only just for people that are transitioning to another gender so um, I think that is really um, interesting too because I noticed when I was in um, CAS and I was trying to find the body scars for the top surgery uh, it was only listed under the males so I do think that maybe they could add that to the females but then again they might have to like you know actually make the you know that area smaller but I guess you could still do that with the sliders and just like add the scar underneath so I don't know if it has something to do with that with the sliders making it larger and smaller but anywho I just think that's super cool but I did want to show you guys this right here um, the hearing aids actually do have different swatches which is super cool I absolutely love that um, so there's different colors and everything for each hearing aid swatch and then additionally to um, the hearing aids are not just only in both ears you can have it in the left ear only or in the right ear only or um, both as well so super cool feature um, really good job to the sims for keeping that in mind also too as you can see here there's patches um, on the arms patches on the stomach um, patches on I think it was the back as well so there's a couple of different locations for your sims to add the patch but I will say my only critique is I know just because I'm in that field that medical field is the patches um, this one right here that's on the back of her arm um, it should be raised a little bit because typically that would be like the sensor I sound like a nerd right now but anyways that item right there should be um, raised because it's not an actual piece that attaches to um, the actual sensor and there's a transmitter and a receiver so there's a piece in there that should be raised um, to show the definition of it because it's a piece on top of it but anyways it really doesn't matter um, that's just me being a little bit nitpicky there but I don't want to take that away from this amazing um, addition to the game so I'm super super happy for these individuals today that feel a little bit more included and feel like they are representing themselves in the game and I just I'm very happy for them and I think it's an amazing addition and thank you to the sims team this is makes me super happy because you know um especially with the latest bathroom kit that they had a lot of the items were very low quality and just seeing the sims team really step it up and add this into the sims game for us just really it's just it's so wholesome and i just absolutely love it and 
it's just great. Also, I did want to add to that the hearing aids are um, from toddler age all the way up through elders. I'm not sure about the CGMs or, you know, the um, diabetes monitoring systems. I'm not sure if they are as well. Um, I can let you guys know later, but I'm not sure about that small detail. But I did want to show you guys a little brief um, overview really quick of how to get to the surgery top section. So you'll just go to the body section at the top there and then you would hit the little um, piece that looks like a little heart and you would click on that to get to the surgery top section area but it is mixed in with the werewolf scars as well so just keep that in mind too but yeah anyways I am just I am just so happy and really really excited and I just feel like there's just a lot of people out there today um, that really are able to represent themselves and I know there's a couple of CC creators his name is Aladdin and he's a CC creator and I'm pretty sure he's 16 years old and he is deaf actually um, so the fact that he has a hearing impairment and you know he's a summer and there doesn't have to be custom content to go into the game to represent himself it's just really really sweet and I love that and it's just really great so anyways <laughs> I'm gonna get off my soapbox here and oh I did want to mention too I didn't add this into the video but there's light switches to the um, base game as well they added that and um, I don't think it's functional but that's my also also another thing too even though that you know the light switch for example it's just a decor item it's not functional and the CGM diabetes supplies are not functional um, or the hearing aids, but it also makes me hopeful because I know that our modders will probably go in and add mood buffs or, you know, potential functionality to these items. So, you know, just keep that in mind too. Even though they're not functional per se, you're still able to see them visually. And, you know, there's probably a CC creator, modder, what have you, that will go in and probably add, like I said, a mood buff or functionality to it. So just, you know, keep that in mind and yay for the Sims team. Our Sims community had a really big win today. So I hope you guys have a great night. And just remember um, to always stay creative. And I'm just really happy for our community today. Bye, guys. Also, let me know, too, um, how you feel about this update. Are you really excited for our, our fellow Simmers? Um, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Um, I am giving away a free expansion pack um, giveaway contest. Um, once we hit a thousand subscribers so if you love my content so if you love my content and you love being here and you always tune into my videos don't forget to hit that subscribe button it really helps out my channel and let's get to a thousand I can't wait I can't believe we're already you know almost to 400 it's just it blows my mind I've only been doing this for a couple months but again I just want to say thank you guys so much for being here I love um, talking with you guys and hanging out so please feel free to comment below um, I love having conversations with you guys. So anyways, I hope you guys have a great night once again. Bye guys.